This video is brought to you by Sendero Seed Company, specializing in wildlife food plots and buck forage products. Well, this is one of the sadder parts about the job that Ben and I do in our research. This, this buck uh, died early this morning, a nice little two-year-old. Uh, this is uh, the middle of September here in East Texas. It's uh, hemorrhagic disease time. We suspect that, but we, we never uh, presume anything. He's lost some weight, uh, but he went down very quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to open him up to look for the telltale signs of hemorrhagic disease. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just, first of all, very much like we do, this is called a necropsy, which is a, a biologist word for autopsy. And first thing we'll do is we're going to open him up. So let me get him open and then we'll be talking about what we're seeing. Okay, I've got the deer open here with Ben's help. Uh, already seeing signs that our worst fears were right. Let's take a look in here. The first thing we're going to look at is the small intestine, which is an area where, where the EHD virus often attacks, and that's where it ruptures and bleeds, and that's why it's called hemorrhagic disease. So let's look in here real tight. Yep, here's what we're talking about. Look at the small intestine. There's absolutely no food. One of the things they do is get, get off food because of the, they just don't feel good. But look at the look at the color of that should be pink. And there's a lot of hemorrhagic activity there. When we move over here to the mesentery, there's a lot of hemorrhaging going on there. We get into the fat around the rumen, which is totally empty. This, this animal hasn't eaten in a day or two. And the further we get up towards the, the uh, stomach, we see more and more hemorrhaging. See these red intestines? This poor guy. We'll look at the spleen. Kidney here. Uh, again, very little body fat. We got not easy to see, but you can see the, the small capillaries rupturing. See the blood, blood's running into the abdominal cavity here. Uh, let's look at the liver. We got, this is an enlarged liver. Uh, yeah, we've got lots of what are called petechia on the liver. Uh, we get up around the lungs, let's zoom in on the lungs here. He's uh, got a lot of adhesion of the lung material. It's already starting. There's a there's a abscess beginning to develop there. There's so I'm uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, we've got a deer that unfortunately died of epizootic hemorrhagic disease. Well, okay, we uh, completed this necropsy. This deer died of Epizootic hemorrhagic disease, unfortunately a common disease all across the United States. We're losing millions of deer uh, periodically to the disease. So it's another sad story, but it's part of the business when we work with deer.